Hello, it's Izzy's Tarot. Thank you for coming to my channel. You could have been to anyone's channel and you came to mine, which means that the universe must have a message to give to you through me. So I am going to do a Sagittarius, how do you know they love you reading? A Sagittarius, how do you know they love you reading? If you could, please subscribe to my channel. It would be greatly appreciated. Just click the little lady down at the bottom. I would really appreciate it. I promise you, you won't be disappointed. This is a how do you know a Sagittarius loves you reading. Hopefully, a Sagitt one Sagittarius or a Sagittarius will smile. If you're a cross watcher, hopefully you can get information to help you with your journey with a Sagittarius. This is a how do you know a Sagittarius loves you reading. How do you know a Sagittarius loves you reading? How do you know a Sagittarius loves you reading? Show me, Spirit Guides, how do I know a Sagittarius loves me? How do you know a Sagittarius loves you? Let's see. How do you know a Sagittarius loves you? Thank you. Thank you, Ancestors, for the information you're going to give me. How do I know a Sagittarius loves me? Let's see. Sag. Queen of Swords. Five of Swords. King of Swords. Well, I think this speaks Sagittarius all the way around because Sagittarius are definitely those people that will tell you like it is, um, let you know how it is, want you to know that they know that they know that they know how it is. Um, so when you get the Queen of Swords here, um, a Sagittarius shows you how they love you because they're going to tell you there's no if, ands, or buts about it. They're going to tell you um, how it is how they want to be with you, um, what, it, what it is, what they see in you, what they see in your relationship. They show you. They tell you. There is no questions around it. Um, a Sagittarius has no problem voicing their opinion. Um, then you have the Five of Swords. And I think that's with the Sagittarius. It means it may be some conflict there with you guys. But I don't think it's bad conflict. I think it may be conflict because... Um, they show that they love through ver verbally, through through speech, through through telling people. Um, so I think that the conflict may come um, just through um, having talks with you, or um, and I don't say necessarily conflicts, but verbal disagreements, or you know just disagreements sometimes, just because um, they are speaking on their love for you. So you've got the king, queen of swords, as well as the king of swords. King of swords is the same thing. He's rational. Um, they're going to be very rational with you. Like I said, they're going to tell you. They're going to let you know this is the way it is. By the bing, by the bang. This is how I feel about you. Um, this is the way it should be. Um, and that may cause some conflict for you too. But they're all that's all in love. They're, they're all showing love there. Let's see with the Queen of Swords. Let's, let's clarify some of these. Uh, I'm going to see here. Queen of Swords. Clarify the King of Swords. Queen of Swords for me, please. Clarify the Queen of Swords for me, please. Please clarify the Queen of Swords. Clarify the Queen of Swords for me, please. Please clarify the Queen of Swords. Seven of Pentacles. Like I said, they're going to tell you this is how we can grow. This is how we can do it. This is how it should be done. Um, I love you. Um, this is how we're going to move forward. They have no problems with telling you how things should be done and how we can move forward. So that Queen of Swords, she's pretty much, hey, you don't play with Queen of Swords. Queen of Swords has their mind made up. They know what they want to tell you, and they tell you what they want you to know. Um, so let's see what the Five of Swords, why is this Five of Swords here? Show me why the Five of Swords is here. King of Wands, that is so true. They're letting you know they want to be the king in your life. They want to give you money. They want to give you everything. They want to be um, that person that shows up for you. They are actually, they are definitely the king of swords. Um, and that might, like I said, cause conflict as well because they're showing you this is how I want to do things. And this is what I want to be to you. A king of wands. Let's see the king of swords. Show me the king of swords. Why is this king of swords here? Show me why the king of swords is here. Show me why the king of swords is here for clarifying for um. How does the Sagittarius love you? Let's see. The Magician. Okay. They are for real about this deal. King of Swords is for real about this deal. They have manifested you. They're showing you um, through their their um, their rationale with you, through their speech. Like I said, if you get the King and Queen of Swords, those are two bad people because they don't play. They let you know straight up. This is what I want. This is what I can be. 
I can sometimes talk out of turn, sometimes a little harshly, but this is just what I want. So this is um, how a Sagittarius shows you they love you. They show you through their rationale. They throw, show you through their speech. They show you they have, they tell you they have manifested you and you're the one. So they tell you how they love you. They show you, they tell you, this is how I love you. 